Now let's figure out how to create a hard cover using a cereal box. So first I measured out how, you know, how big my cereal box is. It's 10 and a half length by six and a half width. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is disassemble your cereal box. You just have to let it flat, okay, carefully. Take apart the glue that holds each edge of your cereal box together and lay it flat. And my directions say, get your pieces of cardboard, they should be pre-cut to eight by 10. So I wanna make a hard cover for my newspaper, my fancy, fancy little newspaper sketchbook. So again, this is seven by five. Change my mind, I want extra room. I want my cover to be a little wider than my pages. If you look at a hardcover book, So I'm gonna make my cover a little bit wider than my sketchbook pages are. I'm gonna measure half an inch. So right there. And on the long side too, half an inch. And then I'm gonna extend my length and width to be a little bit bigger than five by seven. So it's actually gonna be five and a half by seven. My cover, the hard cover is gonna measure five and a half inches by seven and a half inches. And now it's ready to draw. So after I make my little indentation marks here, I'm just going to trace. And trace the other part. So the thing that helps is to line your edge of your ruler up against the straight edge so you know you're making a straight line. And just draw lightly in case you mess up, you can go over it again. Okay. Now let's try it again. So then I have these two pieces, they're the exact same size, and let's see what's the next step. Okay, so now on the long side, the same side that your spine's going to be, we're gonna make a hardcover spine using the cardboard that I have here. So on this side, see how we have all that extra room? We're gonna do what we did in the beginning and just measure half an inch on both of these pieces. So let's try that out. I'm looking at my inch right here, I'm lining up right in the corner. And I'm going to go half of one, is half an inch. Okay, and the same for this piece, half an inch. Okay, and then I'm going to take a ruler. I'm going to take the edge of my ruler with the edge of my cutting board so it's nice and straight and I don't get a wonky line. Voila. And this line is so that we can fold it and make a crease for our spine. So I'm just going to repeat that stuff here. What's going to happen here is these two sides are going to overlap and we're going to fold them to create a spine for our book. <coughs> As you're folding a crease, you're just going to peel up the edge so you're looking at the line you're folding on and just try to make it as straight as possible. You can also take a ruler and fold over it that way. I'll take my pen and help make that crease here. This is totally optional. You do not have to have a hardcover. I just want to be able to protect my newspaper like that. Okay, so then I would take glue and glue down these strings. And then I would also glue down the string first to the page. I'm gonna glue the whole page to the, the back cover. So I'm gluing. The same way you would hold a book, always make sure that you're gonna be able to open to the left. And then 
Just remember that the newspaper is delicate, so you don't want to accidentally uh, add too much glue to the point where it messes up the page. Uh, oh, don't say it's too much glue, so you just want to make sure that you're glue in. Uh, again, you need to get a flat edge or like your ruler and just smooth it out so you know it's being glued properly. Okay, so now this is ready to overlap and attach. I'm not gonna glue the inside of this to the front page because I wanna be able to use that as a sketchbook page. So I'm just gonna attach the front cover to the spine. I'm attaching the front cover to the spine. Okay, so I'm just gonna put very little. I'm not using as much glue. I'm gonna hold it up like this. It's just gonna be easier to set when done. And then I'm gently going to place it on top. I'm just gonna hold it there for a second. Then I'm pressing lightly so it's attaching to the spine. And then you can stand it upright. Make sure it's have attached. Or if I have masking tape, you can just put some masking tape. Okay, I'm attaching the tape first to the spine, and then I'm gonna wrap it over. Make sure it's too much, so I'm gonna cut it. So you have the first page. Eh. And I would just leave this. So luckily I have these clamps. If you don't have the clamps, just add a little bit of glue and maybe prop it up against something. But I'm going to use my clamps to make the page stick together. Okay? And then maybe I'll add a little bit more glue there. And just leave it there to dry. 